So once we've successfully logged in with the user, we've hit submit and we get our token back as well as our user data in the console. We want to redirect our user to somewhere useful. We don't want to stay on the login page. And we're going to take users who are authenticated to their profile page so they can get all of their profile data. For now, we just have their name and email being returned to them. So we're going to use this cookie in our new profile page in order to make a request to get all of the user's current data. So we'll begin by creating a page named profile. And this will be a stateful component mainly because we need to make a request with component did mount when the component mounts. So we'll say export default class profile extends react.component and within the return we want to grab the user's data that we're getting from the request. So for now we'll just have a div that says profile. We'll add a component did mount and here's where we want to get the user's profile. So we'll create a function called get user profile which we'll make in our auth file. So we'll export this new function as well, get user profile. And this will be an async function again. We'll be making a get request, so we want to say await axios.get and what route do we want to get to grab a user's profile. The route we'll create will be slash API slash profile. And now the question is, how do we separate the authenticated users from the unauthenticated users? How do we only let people who have been authenticated in our app get their profile data? And the answer is with the cookie that's been added to our cookies headers. So we don't need to pass the cookie as a payload or anything. It'll automatically be put on our headers. But we just need to include one line. To pass along this cookie to our backend, we need to configure Axios a bit. We need to say axios.defaults. And on it, there's a property called with credentials. We need to set that to true to tell it that, hey, we're passing over this cookie data. And we just need to add our const destructured data. And from this function, we're going to return that data. We're going to pass the return data from that into our profile component. And we'll take a look at that in a sec. First, we need to create our profile route on our API. So we'll add a server.get, which again matches up with our method here that we're making with Axios. This is a get method. So the route method is get. The route is slash API slash profile. And then our handler will have our request and response. And from the request, remember that we can get our signed cookies back as a property of the request. So we can destructure signed cookies from the request like that. And it's possible not to have any signed cookies say someone who's unauthenticated making a request to this profile route. So we'll give it a default value of an empty object if there's no signed cookies on the request. And this will be necessary because we want to get a property from signed cookies. So we'll again destructure this time the signed cookies object, which will hopefully be populated with a token property. So right here, just like that, we're parsing our signed cookie that we sent down previously with res.cookie upon login. Now we can get our user data that we passed down on the cookie. We can verify it. We can say if token, if we have a token, and also if there's a email property on that token, we're going to request that user's profile data according to this email that we're being passed from the token. So how are we going to do that? Well, we'll make another request to our JSON placeholder endpoint, our user's endpoint. So we can just grab this code. And this will be an async function. So we'll make another request to JSON placeholder. And from the data that comes back from this array of users, we're going to say data.find. We're going to find a user where their email is equal to the token email and all of the data that comes back will be equal to their user profile. And then we'll return from this function. 
with res.json. We'll pass down an object with the property of user set to user profile. And then if there's an error, if there's no token, for example, we're just going to send a 404, oops, 404 status code. And just as an additional note, it's important to return here in this conditional because otherwise if we don't return, we're going to continue to the very end. So in addition to sending some JSON data, it's also going to try to send us a 404 stat status. And we're likely going to get an error saying that our headers, our, our response headers can't be set again. So once we've been authenticated as a user and we're executing get user profile when we're redirected to the profile page from login, we're going we're to get our user profile data and we want to put it in local state. And before we forget, let's just import get user profile from our lib folder. So to put this in state, we'll create a state object, with run one property of user set to null. So since we're using a promise for our get user profile function, we can add on to our call to get user profile a then statement. And from the then, we'll have our user, our user data, and we can just say this dot set state and pass in the user. So then instead of rendering the profile, we can just throw the user data that we're now putting in state into the page with json.stringify. And if we pass it the value null and then the number two will have some prettified JSON data. Otherwise, it'll stretch off the page most likely. We can actually put these in pre tags since we're getting, since we're putting code into the page. And the last thing we need to make sure that we do is in our login form and handle submit, we'll add a then statement after this promise resolves and we won't get back any data. We won't need any data. We just want to say, router will take the router so we'll make sure to import it we'll say router.push and we'll push to the profile page we'll save everything if we head back to our app and we clear our token and we sign in again I think oops oh, it looks like we're getting an error not users not defined so in profile, I forgot to say this.state.user. So we'll try that again from scratch. We'll hit submit. We get our token. And we're also loading our user data that we're getting back from JSON placeholder. So that means that in our profile route slash API slash profile, we're able to get the signed cookies to parse the cookies, get the token from it, to use the email off of it, to fetch the user data from JSON placeholder, send the profile data back to the client, and put it in the page. So that's the basic operation of our authentication flow.